So first learn parabola, then we will know other things and all. So for drawing the parabola, the question is very simple. Draw a parabolic curve in such a way, distance from the directrix to focus. Is it directrix to focus? The distance. Mostly they used to give it. The let me take the distance as let me take 50 mm. Okay, the distance is 50 mm. Now the question is draw a parabolic curve and also draw a tangent and normal at any point in the curve. The tangent and normal that is a new thing. I will tell you how to do it. First, we need to draw this one. Okay, the step procedure is first as usual the procedure. I will draw the first the directrix line. Guys, take the extreme left end of the drawing question and draw a simple vertical line that is called as a directrix line, right? So we are going to draw it by using that scale. Especially you draw it very neatly. Okay, anyhow I will draw it by my own hand. So draw a line, okay, draw a line, okay, it's a simple vertical line and I'm going to give the name as dd dash. For example, why I am giving dd dash means directrix. This line, this fixed line is a directrix. Okay. You just draw for some certain length. Okay. And for example, if you are going for draw it for a 10 centimeter, for example, take the midpoint of that line. Okay. Just draw one axis line. Let me take this as a OX. Okay. OX. This is a OX point. Okay. Now, Next step, what I am going to do is the data what they are given distance between the point the directrix here to this one is 50 mm. So focus distance between the directrix to focus. Directrix to focus. We have to read the question very carefully. Any of in this problem they are given like this manner. So this is a directrix line from here to here. The focus point I will mark it as distance as 50 mm. Okay. So this OF is now 50. Okay. For drawing a parabolic curve, for drawing a parabolic curve, okay, for drawing a parabola, okay, first step, not only for parabola or ellipse, whatever may be, for drawing a curve, the distance of focus they used to give normally. We need to capture the vertex point, the first step. So, for finding out the vertex step, capture the distance, and here E value will be equal to 1. I already told you, eccentricity value is 1. They does not mention in the question, but it is understood. So E value is really equal to 1 means in such a way the distance of vertex it will be at the midpoint of this OF. What is that? Midpoint of the OF. That is the main logic we are going to have because the value of OV and VF the value remains same. Okay. So just keep in your mind. Don't forget it. So this is the vertex point. Okay. Okay. Now next step what I am going to do is from the V to F. Okay, place a compass at the point V, VF as radius, just draw an arc. Okay, VF as radius, just draw an arc at the bottom most line. Okay, previous one will be top most, which you should go through Panga, I think bridge course students, anyhow, we can draw it anyhow. Today, I am going to teach you at the bottom end, VF as radius, just draw an arc. The next step, draw a line vertically, draw a line vertical to this, once again. draw a line vertical to this for example yeah okay now we will touch this arc right we capture this point now from this here one over point is there right here one over point okay with this over point we are going to draw just join this and this point what is this join this and this point place your scale and we need to draw it okay so that is what we are going to do so let me take one scale that will be better i think so draw it very simple manner okay see here with OF this I am joining this point and join it and extend this line little bit downwards also extend this line little bit downwards you got it what I am done with VFS radius just draw an arc and extend the line vertical line from the V point and capture this point from this point, join to this to O and join and extend this line. Okay, this is the next step. Next step, what I am going to do is 
from the vertex point divide the number of segments into 6 or 7 division for parabola 6 or 7 division each of length will be length will be 10 mm guys that data would not be given in the question just keep in your mind we will divide the line segments is 10 mm okay so what i am going to do is from the vertex point for example you can tell what is the value of vf vf value will be 25 mm right now am i right this is 25 this is 25 because i have taken the midpoint only right now from the vertex i am going to divide into two segments of length 10, 10 mm right or 1 centimeter so 1 so approximately it will come here 2 am i right 10 20 this will be 5 for example next two point where it will come here right any of our understanding i put it here i will erase it then capture the divisions capture the divisions each of length will be 10 mm and we can put the name as 1 2 3 4 5 it is seven divisions is more than enough the next step what i am going to do is i will draw a line okay next step what i am going to do is i will draw a line in such a manner i am going to draw a line from each and every point place a scale just extend this line v point one point extend this line vertically downwards and similarly from the second point vertically downwards better use the long scale Okay, don't use a smaller scale. It may tends to draw two lines, and we may not go refer. Okay, you got it. Any I am drawing, most probably I will from next class onwards I will try to have a long scale. Okay, okay. But and one more thing, due to the space problem, I may not go a little bit further here downwards. Okay, definitely in your drawing sheet you can able to go very little bit very downwards. So right now I will draw a little bit approximately only. Okay, but this is a procedure. Okay, this is a procedure. I think we can go for 5 to 6, 5 divisions is more than enough. Okay. Now, the similarly, I have extended the line from vertically downwards, right? Now, similarly, you go for vertically upwards. Place your scale at the point 1, extend the line vertically upwards. And one more thing, guys, we need to draw these lines and all very thin, very thin. You should not draw it very darker. Okay, that's very important. And you use a very explicit pencil and you draw it. And if you want to extend, little bit extend, little bit upward also. Okay, since the size of the scale is very small and you need to extend a little bit upwards. At later part, what are the undercared lines? Please erase it. Unwanted lines, after finishing the diagram, we need to erase it. Then only your diagram looks good. So you may get it like in this manner. Right? Okay, fine. Now, the next step, what I am going to do is, so vertex point we got it and we have focus point we are going to have. Okay. So this is the procedure we are going to have. Now next step, uh, I am going to do. This is the divisions, right? One, two, three. This first two point it cuts this particular point here, right? The second point cut this particular point here. Third point like this. Now give this name as one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, like that. Okay? We need to give that particular point. Now next step, what I am going to do is. The procedure is very important. Keep in your mind. Take the distance of 1 1 dash. Okay, take the distance of 1 1 dash. Place your compass at the point F. Okay, F point. Okay, and we are going to cut an R. Okay, and we are going to cut an R here. So, by cutting the R, where we are going to cut an R? That's a very, very important question here. We are going to cut an R at the corresponding point of 1 1 dash. Right? That is the main thing we need to do. Okay, so here we are going to cut an R. At the 1 1 dash line. So take the distance, place your compass at the F point and cut an R. And here, here. Then take the distance of 2 2 dash, place your compass at the focus point and cut an R. Then 3 3 dash, place your compass at the FF dash and cut an R at the corresponding line, 3 3 dash line. Okay, that's very important. Guys, don't think what the star is doing the same where the same place the arc will come. No, it's not sure like that. Your arc may make tends to come in some other direction, some other angle. That is only correct because you guys are going to do as per measurement wise. Okay. Okay. 4 4 dash, place your compass at the F point and cut an arc at the corresponding line. 4 4 dash. Okay. I am drawing a little bit approximately. It's not a perfect figure. Please don't believe that. Okay. Okay. So you do as per the measurement. Now, I am going to join these arcs. 
see here, these are the arcs we have got it right. Join these are first thing you join this arc like in this manner. First, first, first. Okay. And join. It's, it should be smoother though. Okay. And similarly here also, anyhow, it will comes like this. To be frank, the arc will tends to touch here. This line touch on the real. But anyhow, I, I doesn't drawn like this. Okay. It will come like in this manner, a little bit below. Okay. Anyway, I am drawing approximately. Okay. Now, every curve, I already told you, every curve here, for example, whenever you are drawing this curve, the where the curve will touch, it will touch us to the vertex point. Am I right? This is the basic region I told you before that. So, here also, this curve, it should touch the vertex point here. And similarly, from the vertex point, you join these two points and join like a smooth curve. It shows the shape of the curve very perfectly. You will get a perfect parabolic curve. Okay. I am drawing one by one, one line by above line because please don't do like that. For your brightness, I am just doing it like this. You guys, please don't do like that. Okay. Okay. So, this is the shape of the parabolic curve. Okay. It will come like this. Definitely, it will touch this. This is O. OE line we have drawn right this is the 30 degree line not 30 degree line one slanting line we have drawn now so the curve will touch this just like a tangent mari touch funny it then it will go real shape you will get it like this okay you just try it and practice it and you show me your diagram okay especially the new students those who have come i doesn't see in your dry runs and some other students also bridge course students those who are not submitted try to practice this diagram if you are not uh, then only i can able to rectify your mistakes okay this is one case. This is the shape of the parabola. We have drawn it. Okay. This is okay. Uh, and in addition to this problem, they may ask you, draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve. For example, they are giving the question like this. In question, it will be that. We need to draw a tangent and normal. Guys, I want to tell you one thing. This tangent and normal, right? These both the things are perpendicular to each other. How it will be? For example, tangent line is like this. This is tangent line. This is normal line. Both will it will be perpendicular like this. Okay. So similar manner only here also I am going to do. Just see it here. What I am going to do is I will choose any point at the curve as per the question. So I am going to choose somewhere here. And let me give this point name as P. Okay. Now join the first step is this is the first step. Join this P point to the F point. Draw a thin line. Yeah, I have drawn a little bit dark there, but you should not draw like this. This P, you need to draw, join this P point to the focus point, okay? Not to some other point. You need to join to focus. Now, with this P of line, draw a perpendicular line. Guys, it should be perpendicular perfectly. You have to use a protector and you need to draw. By, by, by seeing this line, I can able to say whether you have drawn it perfectly or not, okay? So, we need to draw a perpendicular line. And extend this perpendicular line a little bit beyond this. Where it touches the directrix, where it touches the directrix, right? You capture this point. This point I am going to give the name as T. Where it touches the directrix, it just give the name as T. Now, next step, draw a line from here to here. In such a way, we are going to draw a next tangential line. In such a way, it is going to pass through this point. See here, it should pass through the point P. That is very important. Got it what I have done? Join this tangent to this particular point and draw like a curve. Definitely, it will be tangential to this curve. The curve shape real patina, it may tends to look like in this manner. Okay. Curve to mal of detach it for Mario. Really, as per the measurement, if you are going to do it, definitely you will get it. Right. Okay. So now and ends here, just give the name as T D dash. Once again. So this name as I'm going to give it as TT dash. Okay. So this TT dash line, it should be a little bit darker. Tangential line darker terrenum. Okay. Now I told you normal line, right? Next step. The normal line, how we need to draw? It should be perpendicular to the tangential line. That is the main step I told you. So place your compass at the point P 
and draw at an angle the tangential line you just keep this line as a baseline in your protector you got it you take tangential line as a baseline i mean you will place your protector like in this manner like this like this manner protector vachittu 90 degree mark pannunga mark pannite just draw it and extend little bit downwards also like this so in such a manner i can say this tangential line and normal line both will be perpendicular rendu paaka eppadi theriyuma 90 degree la real ah irukum it should come definitely okay so this is the procedure to draw the tangential and normal line at any point on the curve okay you got it what i done so guys and in this diagram which are the things we need to draw darker that is the main thing this curve parabolic curve red color line red color sketch i have drawn right this is one and tangential line blue color and normal line blue color these three things should be only in darker other lines whatever i have drawn by using this black color or should be very thin very thin maybe here i maybe i may draw a little bit darker but in your uh, drawing sheet it should be there but it should not be clearly so much visible in such a way you need to handle it okay that's in your, in your hand only so you have to show your drawing skills here okay so draw very thin lines by using his h pencil or 2h other things are there, even directrix line also okay okay next thing what are the question they have asked we need to mark the dimension right dimension is very important i already told you right so dimension what we are going to do it here so here what the dimension they given diameter is 50 mm they are given right so i need to show the dimension value here so for showing the dimension what i am going to do is so here dimension enga iruke o to f o to f is 50 mm so here here the diagram is there i cannot able to mark the diagram inside the dimension that is a wrong way so just draw the extension line little bit downwards okay or you may either go upwards so better you come downwards just draw the extension line outside of the diagram and similarly directrix line if it is already is there no problem and here at the below right at the below draw a dimension line okay draw a dimension line and close with arrow heads and arrow heads is very important i think okay i will tell you this arrow heads how to draw then mark the dimension value what is the value you are going to get the dimension value is 50 right 50 yes in the mirror kuduthirukka question konna what are the data they are given in the question all should reflect in your diagram and you should not put mm here some students will put 50 mm guys that is entirely wrong so for that what we need to do all dimensions are in mm we need to put on line guys all are the fundamentals i will tell you in the first problem only here after i won't tell you these things and all so you guys know that right or in mm small letter okay just put it in a box it looks good okay and in addition to this here tangent normal and all you have written right the right side portion of the diagram just write it down tt dash that is a tangential line and n and dash that is a normal line these are all extra information it go it gives a very good look and dd dash that is the name i given for directrix line nothing wrong in that okay f is nothing but the focus point v is nothing but the vertex point okay these are the informations we need to give and below that we just mark like this all dimensions are in your mom okay so this is what we need to draw maybe my curve may not be exact or perfect and definitely the parabolic curve you will get it in a very smooth manner once if you drawn as per the measurement by seeing the diagram itself i can able to say whether you done it rightly or wrong okay so do it well and the practice this diagram okay with this class a parabola we will we will stay and next class we will continue the remaining part and all okay so we will see if if you boys are very clear in this other two things and all very easy only some small minor alteration here and thank here, you guys for watching problem, my video if you like my video please do like share and subscribe my channel